It was my friend's 28th birthday, and to celebrate, we decided to pre-game with some sketchy Rice Krispie edibles before going to a Caribbean dancehall party. We both ate about a brownie and a third, but we were still sober as third graders. We put on a Travis Scott documentary as if it activated the edibles or something, but all we got was bored as hell, so we decided to go to the party. We take an Uber, and as soon as we get past the line into the party, like clockwork, we're both insta-smacked, severely, instantly high as shit. There was a random bench in the middle of the party, and we both agreed it was the move because we were too high to dance, or like, function to be honest. We sit down and the DJ gets on the mic and the dance floor opens up for this dancer in a harness jumpsuit situation. She immediately hops on her dancehall queen ship, whining slits the whole night, getting her entire Sean Paul life. And as we're watching her high and mesmerized, here comes this super tatted man out of fucking nowhere. And he looked, no bullshit, I swear, exactly like Voldemort. We were so in awe, we stopped staring at the queen of the dancehall. And then the rest of the party followed our lead. And as soon as he had all eyes on him, he just starts fucking it up. He did every single dance on work I've ever seen. He might have actually been Tony Matterhorn himself. At one point, this girl tried to come dance with him and he literally did a dance move and swept her silly ass off the dance floor to keep dancing. We honestly had the best seats in the house and to make things more interesting, a guy comes over and asks me to dance. And he wasn't bad looking or anything like that. I just didn't think dancing was a physical possibility at the time, so we had a little conversation instead. I was entertaining the conversation, yeah, but honestly, I was just trying to get through it without making a complete fool of myself. Eventually, he's all like, hey, can I get your number? So I knew I was in the clear. He hands me his phone and I go to typing in my number and it's like the edibles grab me by the fingertips. How hilarious would it be if I saved my name and his phone is Mary? My name isn't Mary, that's fucking hilarious. I hand him back his phone and as he's reading the name, the high giggles take over. What's so funny, he says. I burst out laughing. <laughs> that's not my name, I'm just fucking with you. He didn't think it was as funny as I did. He didn't think it was funny at all actually. He looked at me with the straightest face and said, that's not cool. I'm all about honesty. What a fucking buzzkill. So whatever, I came clean and told Mr. I'm from Harlem, I was joking. He gives me this fake sympathetic smirk and asks me to put in a location so he knows where we met. Determined to show him how funny I really was, I saved the location as in your dreams. Fucking genius. I hand him his phone back and he just stares at it, then at me with this dumb grin on my face, then back to his phone. In my dreams? Why would you say that to me? You might be my type and you're beautiful and all, but you're not all that. You're not all that. And at that point, I'm just like, whoa. It was so aggressive and I was so high. I'm just like, what the fuck is going on right now? Am I about to get molly walked? So me and my friend just sit there awkwardly next to him for like five minutes. And then I'm like, yo, let's bounce, you know? And then we left. I, I don't know how to do the vlog.